Let's examine why the Ravens might have made the trade to acquire Yannick Ngakwe. Against the Chiefs, we know what happened in week three. Five-man rush right here. Good coverage down the field. They've got four chief receivers plastered. But Mahomes has time to step up and to find Sammy Watkins. You can't cover forever. When you watch this play here, I mean, it's a five-man rush. You got Matt Judon and Patrick Queen, and you got Clayus Campbell and Tyus Bowser. You got a bunch of guys coming after Mahomes, but nobody gets to Mahomes. And that's what it's about, getting to these big-time quarterbacks and big-time games. If you look at Yannick Ngakwe, here he is to the left against Seattle. Now, they're going to put Greg Olson over there on him. They're going to put Dwayne Brown on him. And he's still going to chase and be relentless to take Russell Wilson down. It'd be good if they could have a guy that could just win one-on-ones. Again, third down here against the Chiefs. Third and five, all right? They're going to throw a lot of junk at Patrick Mahomes. Chuck Clark is coming. Marlon Humphrey is coming. But still, Mahomes can manipulate those guys in the pocket and have this kind of time to be able to find Nicole Hardman. Too much time tackled by Matt Judon. If you look at Yannick Ngakwe right here, watch him as he, that's his signature move, that cross chop right there, he can win one-on-ones against a guy like, you know, Ty Zombrero there and win and get the ball out. So here it is again, the Ravens with the five-man pressure, third and six, and Mahomes is able to find Travis Kelsey. I mean, it's kind of a broken coverage right there, but wouldn't it be nice if you could just have a guy like Ngakwe in a four-man rush every once in a while? Like, feel Deshaun Watson step up, not get deep within him, and to take Watson down. That's what he's been doing. He's been part of a four-man rush with Calais Campbell. How about a playoff game last year? All right, third and 12, opening touchdown of the game, five-man pressure. Ryan Tannehill. I mean, it's great coverage on the outside to Janu Smith. But Tannehill has too much time here to be able to set his feet. Nobody's getting home. I mean, you look at the rush here. Clark and Judon. Ward, they're all coming, but nobody gets to Tannehill. I believe they went out and made this trade and have a guy that can win one-on-ones, like right here. Ngakwe right here can just take this inside move, get inside, all right? Just stab. I think they just want to improve the pass rush and not force to be able to blitz so often in order to get pressure. Whether you chip or whether you slide extra guys in that direction, but I don't think he can block Ngakwe one-on-one.